controversy continues on Longboat Key tonight. It centers around a $400 million redevelopment of the Longboat Key Club, and now the project is pitting the club and businesses against property owners. SNN Local News 6 reporter Mia McCormick sat down with the club's general manager today. She's live on Longboat Key with more on that. And Mia, you had the chance to ask some pretty tough questions about a compromise. I did, and I want to mention first that we're in front of the town hall, and it's pre preliminary election day here, which is why you see some of the people for elections here behind me. But the people of this this island and town commissioners have heard months of hearings on the Longboat Key Club redevelopment plan, and everyone is just hoping at this point for some kind of a compromise. The Longboat Key Club revealed new renderings today of how the proposed hotel, condominiums, townhomes and meeting center will fit into the island landscape. Club General Manager Michael Welly also revealed a new, more lenient stance on the club's willingness to negotiate their current plan. I think we have uh, possibly the basis for a compromise. The Island Side Property Owners Coalition, or IPOC, is the club's biggest opposition. Condo owners along the beach are concerned with two proposed condominiums on the property. Some want the condo towers eliminated altogether. We uh, actually have our architects in today and we're reviewing that with them. Uh, we're hoping that we may come up with an alternative plan that would reduce the height of those. Well, he explains the condos are needed to provide financial backing for a new five-star luxury hotel that's slated for the final phase of the redevelopment. Today's real estate market raises some concerns about the club's ability to see the project through to the end. But Welly says they're planning for future buyers. We're hoping that in two, three years we start to see a recovery. Uh, we're starting to feel that a little bit now. It, even in, in the month of January with the weather we've had, We've had uh, more people looking at real estate and we've had more people looking at the club than this same time last year. One undeniable benefit is the economic stimulus the project would create for the town. Plans to build a new golf course, clubhouse, wellness spa, meeting center, hotel, condo towers and townhomes will create short and long-term jobs and provide a new destination location for the Longboat Key coastline. Now, if IPOC is not satisfied with the new compromises, Will, Welly says that they'll have to sit down and decide which of the two plans that they will present here as the final plan to town commissioners on Friday night. Adrian. Mia, are there any other issues of contention regarding this project? There are a few. Traffic is one. The size of the meeting center is one. The scale of the entire project is another. But Welly says that he's met with the planning board here several times and feels that they have overcome all of the issues with everything except this last issue of contention, and that is with IPOC, and they're hoping to solve that now. Live in Longboat Key, Mia McCormick, SNN, Local News 6.